Hi, Eric of Golden Channels here. If you've just gotten started researching trolling motor plugs, you realize that there's only a handful of them out there. They all have one thing in common, they're not really waterproof. For these to be installed in a way that is both safe and reliable, there's a few things that you need to know before you do your installation. Here today on Eric's Tech Talks. Guys, we need to talk about how some of you are installing these plugs and receptacles. There is not a trolling motor plug or receptacle currently made that is truly waterproof. Here are three things that you absolutely need to know and do to keep your trolling motor plug working reliably for a long time. First step is to mount the receptacle vertically, not horizontally. That way, if uh, you can mount it under a lip, even better, but you want to have the moisture so that it doesn't go directly into the receptacle. If you're having a receptacle facing upwards in your boat, it's very convenient to put it there, and I know the reasons that you try and do it, but think of taking a coffee cup and taking the lid off of it and just letting the rain get into it. And half of the trolling motor plugs out there don't have any kind of drip mechanism so that once the water gets into the receptacle itself, it just sits there there until it creates problems or evaporates. The second tip is mount the wire coming out of the plug into the plug with enough distance on the wire so that the wire falls downwards from the plug. So this is almost almost costs you nothing or it may cost you nothing at all. Uh, it's a very simple thing. It's very easy to think, okay, I'm going to shorten this wire and that's going to give me better um, power transfer. And that's true. The problem is, is that if the wire that is in here does this, all of the moisture that accumulates on here, either from waves or from condensation or whatever, is going to follow this wire straight into the plug. It's going to get to the contacts and it's going to corrode those contacts. So that's a very simple thing. It's easy to do. Uh, just be mindful of it. Third, is try to mount the plug and the receptacle in such a way that there's at least six inches of clearance between the plug cable exit and the whatever surface is below it. And this is particularly true with the battery tender. This is the only thing that can create problems for the battery tender, is if you have one of their plugs and you've only got about three or four inches of space between where the cable exits out of the plug and say a casting deck or something like that, what can happen is you can get some water that basically splashes around in there, gets up inside the uh, plug itself and creates corrosion in those contacts. That's about it. Stay tuned for our next video that gives even more trolling motor plug and receptacle installation tips. And if you found this video to be worthwhile, please click the subscribe button below and give us a visit at goldenchannels.com.